This is a Lamborghini Diablo GT. This is basically a racing version of the uh, Lamborghini Diablo. It's designed to be a more track oriented and uh, details are absolutely amazing. Look at that air dam on the nose. Uh, compared to the regular Diablo, the design is completely new. The front bumper is also very different and it's all carbon fiber it looks like it's taken from a modern car rather than a car from the 1998 so this car actually looks like it's inspired by the diablo vt 6.0 it's not because that came out after this maybe they were designed together anyway look at that wheel look at how many nuts it has my god lamborghini were nuts uh, my god anyway there's one more thing i noticed that's unique for this car is that it has this slit here that allows the air from the front wheels to uh, to escape and uh, here you have a side skirt as well and check out the rear wheel that is huge of course uh, lamborghinis have always had uh, much wider tires at the back so of course the wheels are also you know wider you have a small diablo gt logo here but the differences at the rear are what's really noticeable so you have a very different a very slim sort of a diffuser and uh, I didn't like how this diffuser made the car look very different. Like uh, the the grills underneath the head, uh, tail lights, they're much bigger. They just look very odd. The tail lights, they're covered with carbon fiber now. They're surrounded by carbon fiber now. So that's a nice touch. So the exhaust pipes are also much more exposed compared to the other Diablos. Here, let me show you. Imagine the flames this car spits out. So. Yeah, this is the very slim diffuser. Look at how high it is from the road. You don't have this type of design anymore. It's just a bygone era. Anyway, the rear wing also of this car is completely different. It has a, a GoPro sized reverse camera. I'm sure it was a very new feature of its time. You have the engine sign here. It's a six liter V12 that makes around 583 horsepower which uh, for its time is a lot so yeah this is uh, basically a very beautiful car from its time it's one of the most powerful cars uh, that i had seen in my childhood and of course it was also no uh, noticeable because of its air duct on the roof so another unique thing about uh, the diablo gt is that there were only 80 of these made so i believe i've seen a black one when i was young i may be wrong so now i'm seeing it after so many years so so many years maybe 25 years so yeah i've been waiting to see this car and uh, actually lost hope for seeing this car but here it is so yeah just let me know what you think of this beautiful monster uh in the comments and before i go I'll, what i'll do is i have a few modern lamborghinis here i'll just show them to you as well just to make a slight comparison just to see how much the design has changed over the years but if someone were to offer me both i might take the classic one i mean the diablo instead of the aventador so let me just pass through these cars here and uh, oh i have one special easter egg to show you so this is a one-of-a-kind rolls royce hyperion it's designed by Pininfarina and uh, anyway here i have an aventador it's beautiful i love it and of course uh, the diablo still has a special place in my heart and uh, this is the sv model so i have videos of all lamborghini models including the uh, the venana roadster which was in this showroom plus a centenario roadster reventon and i have a konisek agera r in the corner as well yeah, I've had Konisex, uh, Gamera, Jesco, all of them here in this showroom. So have a look at my channel. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I have videos of Bugatti's, Pag Paganis as well.